Mrs. von der Leyen, the moment you landed in Tel Aviv, not as a campaigner, for the immediate cessation of war crimes on all sides, not as an ambassador of peace and reconciliation, not as an advocate of international law, not as a believer in the simple idea that the Geneva Convention is our only hope in the darkest of hours, but instead as an enabler of the war crime of denying water and food to two million non-combatants, as a cheerleader of an air force intentionally targeting people's homes, as a facilitator of the war crime of transferring more than a million people to a part of Gaza where they were still bombed. At that moment, you became Europe's greatest liability. We have always known about your incompetence. You obviously thought that we had forgotten that Angela Merkel sent you to Brussels, made you President of the European Commission in order to get rid of an incompetent and quasi-corrupt German Minister of Defense. We have not forgotten. You obviously thought that we had forgotten about your gross managerial incompetence during the pandemic, a very well publicized fiasco of enormous proportions. We have not forgotten. Well, Mrs. von der Leyen, incompetence we can tolerate, but flying into a war zone to cheerlead on behalf of Europeans war crimes, crimes against humanity, that we shall not tolerate. You are a disgrace and a liability. It is time for you to resign. But since you do not have, you do not possess the moral dignity to resign, we, DiEM25, the Democracy and Europe movement, alongside millions of progressive Europeans, we stated for the record that in the forthcoming European Parliament elections, we shall confine you to the dustbin of Europe's history, as you so richly deserve. Good night, Mrs. von der Leyen.